There are a lot of different ways you can use to create the film effect, the film emulation. For me and for a lot of other creators you have already seen online, the go-to option is the Dehancer plugin. Let's go now and see how we can use the Dehancer plugin for Final Cut Pro. So we're gonna dive into the Final Cut Pro version and remember that there is also an app and version that you can use on your iOS or Android and you can use the same emulation effects for photos or videos. We are in the Final Cut Pro interface and let's go and check how we can work with the Dehancer plugin. We can either go to the effects panel and then go to film emulation and drag the Dehancer Pro into our footage or we can also use adjustment layers. We can drag an adjustment layer above our footage and place the Dehancer Pro effect on the adjustment layer. If you don't have adjustment layers, I will have for you in the description of this video free for you to download. And basically what you can have with the adjustment layer is that you don't need to have all the effects copy and paste, even with attributes or whatever, you can use them on top for all of your footage. We go now into the inspector panel and we can see that on the Dehancer Pro, we can select which source our clip is and also if we have for example let's say s-log3 for sony we can select the choose camera and then go whichever camera we want and let's say sony for example a7s3 and the camera format s-log3 now the footage is uh, rec 7 or 9 but i'm just giving you an idea of how you can work with your camera so we select rec 709 from here we can change the exposure we can select the temperature that we want if we want to make it warmer or colder the tint the difference and the difference radius and we need to enable the difference so you can check this out or disable it and then we go into film. We have a variety of different films that we can choose for our footage. For example, we can go to 200T and the push-pull is the procedure of how quick or slow we want the film to appear. And then we go to film compression. If we enable this, you will see here we have the impact to control how much of a compression we want to have, the white point, how we want the white to be compressed, the tonal range of the compression and the color density. If we click that, we disable it. Then we go into the expand. The expand is how we want the black point and the white point to have an expand on our foot as the shadows and the highlights to make it more simple. And the color mode if we want to be normal or luma. And then on the print profile, we have the selections of linear Cineon Film Log, Fujifilm 3513 print film, Kodak 2383 print film and Kodak Endura glossy paper. The Kodak 2383 is usually the profile that is used to many Hollywood movies and from the target white we can make it even warmer or colder so we can change the white balance of the footage. Also we can set the exposure on the amount that we want, the tonal contrast, so we can change the contrast, the color density, the saturation, and if we click on analog range limiter, it's gonna limit the colors of what we see. Then on the color head, we can change the colors in our footage. If we want more yellow or more blue, magenta green, this is useful if you have uh, faces that you want also to change on a mask the different faces to have the right color. We can change the shadow stone if we want 
the shadows to be a little bit warmer the mid-tones if we want the mid-tones to be warm as well and let's say the highlights we want the highlights to be a little bit cooler and we also can select the impact of the changes of the color head as we go down we have the film grain and we have also a variety of options from the size of the grain that we want to the amount let's say that we want something around five on this footage the resolution how the big the resolution is going to be of the film and one thing that it's very important when it comes to grain is that we can change the amount of grain to shadows mid-tones and highlights so we can say for example on the shadows we want something around 10 mid-tones around 20 and we would like to have some more grain into the highlights area also we can select if we want to have grain on the chroma and the film type usually i go with positive but also we can select if we want to have negative as you see here we can place a little bit of more grain here on the mid-tones as well one of the biggest things that this plugin has is the halation halation by itself it gives okay please forgive me i'm gonna use the word that cinematic vibe on your footage so if i click enable you will see let me zoom in a little bit on the footage and i change the impact and the amplify as you see you see this halation that it's coming on the highlights halation is something that gives the feel right away and then we go into the bloom how we want the bloom on the highlights let's enable this and you see the bloom is coming into the highlights from here you can take the impact of the bloom and you can select which parts of the highlights the limiter that you can place a little bit on the source the details how much the diffusion is going to be the amplify if we want to save lights or not you see that with the option here the lights are not saved so 100 percent you don't have any weird things on your side the saturation and if you go into the mask mode you can mask parts for the bloom then we have the vignette so you can select how much exposure you want to have on the vignette even lighter or darker the size of the vignette the feather and the aspect ratio and then you go into the film breath here we have the film breath uh, we can change the period the exposure the tonal contrast the color let me just uh, maximize the period and the exposure and the tonal so you can see what the film breath does exactly and activate it check out the footage and also the gate weave let me just change the period the translation y and rotation so i can enable it and see the difference how the footage is with the gate weave and how it is without we can also monitor false colors and clipping indication and at the end we have how much we want the total impact of what we just did to be on our footage and if we want we can click on export lat so all of the things that we did right now we can export to a lat that we can use it for future videos for future footage that we are going to use one of the most important things that this plugin can give you to the, your footage is the film emulations the grain the controllable grain to the shadows highlights and the print simulations and also the halation and the bloom things that as halation and bloom that we usually have only in davinci resolve for example and we didn't have the option to have inside final cut pro if you're interested to get the dehancer plugin you will find links in the description of this video down below thank you so much for watching i'm emilio and i will see you in the next video